A warm welcome back to my garage workshop. I know it's been a good while since we last met. My apologizes. YouTube kindly reminded me if I don't soon publish new content, my creator's membership will be removed. Therefore I grabbed together this filler video. I still hope few viewers will find something useful out of this. I'm currently working on a larger project where I needed to fabricate this cone. I have this sturdy sheet metal slip roller, which is great for cylindrical forming, but it can only be adjusted for very minor taper angles. Very often this beast of a machine has also two large rollers for smaller diameter tubes. So I ended up designing my own version for a sheet metal roller. It has conversional bearing setup only on the other end. The lower rollers are supported on bearing carriages. The effective width of the roller can be adjusted up on the workpiece size for maximum rigidity. Even the rollers are quite thin, only 45 mm in diameter. Two middle roller carriages can be also slided where the action happens. This slip roll is designed for making different kind of cones and tube adapters, but can of course bend cylindrical forms and rims too. Most of the milling parts were made with my ancient CNC bridge board. The rollers were made out of some scrapyard finding steel. The dimensions of my slip roll were basically defined by those bars. Unfortunately, the rod was just slightly larger than my late board size, so I had to take the steady rest to use. The material seems quite tough, but machine is very beautiful. Must be some quality stuff. The frame was first tap welded together, then the lower roller support carriages were assembled. I used cheapest bearings I could find. Half millimeter shims were added each side. The side carriage will be fixed to the frame, so I grinded some bevels for good weld penetration. And same procedure on the other end. I thought that this bearing setup could transfer enough torque from roller to roller, but that was later proven a bad choice. After the tap welding, everything was dismantled for the actual welding. Then I found that I had a big mistake here by welding both plates of the end bearing carriage fixed to the frame. The shafts with its circlip grooves are impossible to remove if the shims are dropped into the groove. So I had to take my angle grinder and make some changes to my plan. Everything's going through the plan.
I had some issues with my camera, so there's no clip from the actual welding. But afterwards everything was reassembled again. This has some disc springs to make some resistance and the screw tip grabs to the frame.
and finally a chance to test the machine. The first test with the small diameter tube didn't go that well, uh, unless this is the desired result. Let's try the real code. First I cut the sheet with my angle grinder compass, plagiated it from the other Finnish guy. The actual cone bending went surprisingly well. After welding the seam, I placed it back to the roller to smoothen the transition. Now let's see what we can benefit from the open-end design. Cones with a tip are very difficult to make on traditional slip rolls. After some spot welds the result is at least decent. Now what on earth you can roll from this sheet metal snake skin? After a little tidying up, it looks like this. It only requires one meter of welding and the Frankenstein tin man's elbow is ready.